Alrighty, so we have another conspiracy theory video today. Today's conspiracy theory is going to be one of my favorites to discuss. So as you just saw, today's will be will Cedar Point upgrade top fuel dragster to an LIM and LSM launch system to help with current problems it experiences. For those of you that don't know the current problems it experiences, that's fine. We'll go over that in this video as well. So to get right into it, many enthusiasts and people alike know how unreliable Top Fill Dragster is and has been. Top Fill Dragster is one of those coasters that is always down for maintenance or some mechanical issue. Oh, and if it's not one of those, then it's down for an even slight raindrop. Yes, I know that sounds crazy, but on my last trip, it was explained to us that Top Fill Dragster cannot operate in any rain whatsoever anymore. So if it's even slightly raining, the coaster will be shut down. I can't fully confirm that. That's just all that was said to us on our last visit. Um, and they literally had to wait until the last raindrop hit the ground. So to even begin a proper discussion on whether Top Thrill Dragster will be upgraded or not, we first have to analyze why Top Thrill has these problems to begin with. Well, this is something I asked while visiting the park and the answer actually makes a lot of sense. Top Fuel Dragster, when designed, was designed and built with a ton of moving parts and sensors that all have to work together in order for the ride to work properly. For any of you that have been to the park or stood next to this launch section on the coaster, you fully understand what I just said. Look at how many boxes or motors or sensors there are attached to this launch piece of track here. Those fins all operate somewhat separately. Um, so they're in block sections on a launch segment of the coaster that will then all have to rise individually and lower individually for the coaster to work properly. One sensor blows and that coaster is not moving or going anywhere. So when you're at the park or at Cedar Point and this coaster is down, it's most likely down for a sensor problem. If it's not a sensor problem, then it's most certainly probably mechanical, again, probably to do with the fins or the hydraulics or whatever is um, attached to the top fill dragster or weather. Weather is another reason this coaster goes down. It is a strata coaster. It's high up in the air. So high winds can bring this coaster down very easily. So to even begin a proper discussion on whether top fill dragster will be upgraded or not, we first have to analyze why top fill has these problems to begin with. Well, this is something I asked while visiting the park, and the answer actually makes a lot of sense. So for an example, the launch has block sections of fins all work together while working separately at the same time. For anyone that understands mechanics knows there are more moving parts there are than the more likely things are to go wrong. If you walked alongside the launch track of Top Fill Dragster, you'll see that this thing truly is a maintenance nightmare. That's just the launch. The brake section on top fill dragsters operate in a similar manner that make it twice as likely to go down. Add multiple block sections with multiple sensors and more fins, and you truly have a sensor and cooperation problem. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So when you're standing there waiting, you hear the fins going up in separate sections like ch -ch -ch, like you hear it. And whenever you look out when the ride goes down, you can usually spot the one fin that isn't cooperating or the one sensor or the one piston or the hydraulic system. Something is not working and it's usually one. So here's a great view of that. One will cause the ride to not work properly. There has been occasional times where we've seen them force the ride into manual mode because one isn't going to do too much and they'll try and operate it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But in most cases, the ride will go down, a mechanic will show up, and they'll replace a sensor or something, a wire. That's usually what I see when I'm there. It's usually a wire or a sensor that we're replacing. The mechanic will leave, the ride will go back up. It just seems like a, a true nightmare. So apparently, the topic of upgrading Dragster um, has come up numerous times and seems to be an ongoing discussion on whether Dragster should move to an LIM and LSM launch to help resolve some of these ongoing maintenance issues. So now let's go over whether I think this is possible or not. And this is where it gets really interesting. 
So for positives, it would remove a lot of the problems with differing parts having to work together in order for the ride to run. The more moving parts there are, the higher the risk for downtime. Dragster, despite its downtime, remains a huge draw for the park, so removing it is definitely not an option, and upgrading it or improving it would be best. Upgrading Dragster would be a lot cheaper than removing it and replacing it as well. It would help with boosting guest satisfaction as well as having Dragster more operational. This seems to be the problem. So imagine an alternate universe where Dragster was up and running 99% of the time and operations were great. This would be fantastic for Cedar Point regardless of how old the attraction is now. It remains a huge hype factor for the park and being a Canadian I can tell you it's one of the biggest draws for Canadians crossing the border and grabbing a pass to go to the point. My friends, family, anyone I know has been to Cedar Point and one of the biggest draws and topics of discussion when you're talking to your friends and family in Canada about going to Cedar Point is Top Thrill Dragster. So they aren't going to be removing it. So the only option, in my opinion, is upgrading it or enhancing it, um, which is why we'll get to my opinion in just a bit. Now, why wouldn't Cedar Point upgrade Top Flow Dragster, one may ask? This is where it gets interesting, and I actually find it difficult to argue against it. So a couple of reasons might be cost. Cedar Fair is one of those companies we don't see spend money if they don't want to. We see this with Wonder Mountain's Guardian at Canada's Wonderland, Shade, and Dragster at Cedar Point. Both these parks have attractions that probably should have money spent on them. Mm -hmm. This might suggest Cedar Fair isn't in the business to spend money unless it's absolutely vital, and one could argue it's not absolutely vital yet. Maybe Cedar Fair just doesn't see it as something in the books quite yet. Maybe they're waiting for that, you know, end-all, end-all situation and scenario where they're like, okay, this ride can't operate anymore, implement the plan we've had in place for quite some time now. Maybe they have a plan and they're waiting to implement it when needed, right? One could argue it would be slightly costly as well, ordering new parts, track sections if needed, and for Dragster, new trains as well. And that's plural. That's five trains. So I say five, and a lot of you are like, well, no, Dragster has six trains. Well, Dragster should only have five trains. So Dragster, for those of you that don't know, Intamin designed Dragster with six trains um, without accounting for body weight. So operating six trains with full loads and different body proportions um, was actually a safety risk because from what I understand or have heard, and again, I can't confirm this, um, the trains uh, could collide. So train six and train one, I guess, could collide or, you know, vice versa. The basically uh, one trains, if there's six on the block, would be in the final block on the block section of the brake run and the train would come in and potentially bump with uh, a heavy body weight proportion. So that's why Cedar Point only operates five trains during operating hours. You'll see them testing the ride with six trains, but it'll never be operating with six trains and people on it. So that's very interesting for those of you that didn't know that, that I would just share that. So it's definitely an interesting topic of discussion. And in my honest opinion, I think I have made up my mind on whether this conspiracy theory may have some truth or possibility to it. I am definitely going to side with it's possible that Top Fill Dragster can and may receive an upgrade down the road with LIM and LSM launch to help improve its reliability and popularity. I think one off season we could see this upgrade done and who knows maybe Intamin and Cedar Fair are already working on this. I just personally find that spending money soon to fix this coaster will greatly remove the burden down the road of costs and reliability. Now I want to hear from you. Do you think Cedar Point will upgrade Top Fill Dragster and improve its reliability, or do you think it will remain the same old, same old? Comment down below what you think, and remember, every Monday we will have a new Conspiracy Theory video. It's that time of the video where I tell you to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this for others to enjoy. And as always, thanks for watching, and have a great one. Bye!